I might even take this to the tailors to get them to put a proper zip in because I can't live like this. How are you gonna make a jacket with no pockets? I can see my nipples through this. I can see the brown, the pigment. This dress looks good, but this dress is annoying. What can I even say about this that is nice? Nothing. <laughs> We're seeing knickers, aren't we? Oh my god, this feels weird. It's been too long, girls. Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you've never been here before, my name is Emma Tamsin Hill. Thank you for joining me today. We're doing a haul. I cannot physically remember the last time we did a haul. It has been too long, girls. It, it was definitely last year, but I don't even know when last year. I'm a bit full of a cold, so if I sound a bit bummed up, that's why. But I wanted to get this out for you guys. So we've not done a haul in a long time. The state of plus size fashion right now, mm, it's not looking good, breath. <laughs> It's not looking good. So many places are taking the plus sizes off their website or completely cutting down their plus size offerings. So many places are turning it from plus size to extended sizing and going up to a 22. I'm confused. So honestly, I have not felt super inspired by clothes at the moment. The only places that I am shopping at the moment is PLT and ASOS. They're the only two and it feels a bit boring because that's all I seem to be wearing, but ugh. I don't know, ma'am. Maybe I do need to branch out. It's just like, even when I'm looking at different places like H&M, New Look, the plus size offering is not very big. <sighs> yeah, so nothing is really like tickling my fancy right now. Pretty Little Thing will always tickle my fancy, I can't lie to you. I go on their website and I'm like, yes, I would wear that, I would wear that, I would wear that. So today is a Pretty Little Thing haul. I got quite a lot of this stuff around Valentine's Day because I did some like Valentine's date night ideas on my Instagram, TikTok, and I'm like, oh my God, the stuff that I don't want, I best send it back. So before I do that, I thought I'd try it on and show ya. Cause I've got a lot of stuff from this like order that I'm like, yeah, I'm keeping it, it's so cute. That's what I mean, like at the moment, pretty little thing, like it's really doing bits for me. I can't lie. I just wish that other brands were doing the same, but I do have a little something coming out this year. I won't lie to you. I do have something for the plus size girlies coming this year, but we'll talk about that near the time okay so let's just get into it into a nice cutesy a lot of this stuff is like date night vibes cutesy girly all of that good stuff so let's get into it okay first up we have this <laughs> i feel so pretty and sexy and girly she's cute so it's like this little knitted two-piece so it's a strapless top super stretchy and tight and just like a maxi skirt it's hitting me on the ankle it's a really good length actually the only thing is this is very see-through, as you can tell. Like, you can probably see the shade of brown in my areolas currently. I can see my nips through this. I can see the brown, the pigment. I've got brown undies on. You can see them through this. Oh, you can definitely see them through this. Wow. So I don't know the way around this. Is this something that you wear in the house? Or is this something that, I don't know, you wear on holiday? But then it's knitted. So I don't know. I don't know, but I just like how I look in it. I think I look very pretty in it. The cream color is really nice. I don't know, guys. What do I do? Maybe it's like boob tape and nude underwear. I don't know. Maybe that would work. Or boob tape and no underwear. I'm not really a no underwear girl, though. Anyway, we don't have to talk about logistics right now. All I know is I think it's cute. Not much to say about it, girls, other than I feel cute, but everyone's going to see your underwear, so. <laughs> Swings and roundabouts. Okay, this is the next piece. I won't lie to you. This dress looks good. But this dress is annoying. So, I remember the first time I tried this on. When I first tried this on, I wore it with tights and it looked super cute when I was doing like the date night looks. And I like the idea of wearing it with tights and stuff like that because it is quite short, but you can definitely wear it without tights. Okay, so let's get into it. This is just like a really cute bustier style satin mini dress. But it's kind of like flowy and girly and pretty and all that. It's got this lace trim right here. I don't have a bra on it right now. It does have cups, but obviously everyone's boobs are gonna be different sizes, so yeah. But the back is like this. So the back is all lace up and super pretty, but because it's a lace up back, like sometimes you'll put it on and it's so tight and you can't breathe. Like right now this is a bit too tight. I need to loosen up the straps, but obviously because I have all the patience of a gnat, do gnats have patience? I don't know. I just got no patience. So when I'm like trying to put it on, I'm not thinking about loosening up the, the flipping back. I just whack it on and then I can't breathe and I can't do anything because it's so tight. So even now I'm out of breath, can you hear me? So you need to make sure it's like nice and loose. It will fit all right because you can like loosen it to your preference, but it's kind of like a two person, person? <laughs> kind of like a two person job. Like maybe you'll need like someone to help you get in it. 
because of being alone, like I can tie up the back in that, but if you have to like make it looser, it's a bit of a nightmare, but it does look good. I think this looks super cute. I wouldn't usually pick something like this for myself, but I just thought it was really pretty. And like I said, I did really like it when I paired it with tights. Oh, I feel so girly. Yeah, it's really giving girly. And it is a good length on me, like it's not too short, which a lot of things usually are. So yeah. Okay, next we have this. Now, when I ordered this, I thought, mmm, old Hollywood, regal, beautiful, gorgeous. And now I have it on like it's giving bridesmaid. But I don't mind it, like it looks really nice. I actually think I'm gonna wear this to my auntie's wedding. My auntie is getting married next week. And I showed her this outfit and she was like, you should wear this to the wedding because it's like black tie themed and all that stuff. So yeah, it is giving bridal. It's giving, yes, I'm maid of honor. <laughs> Obviously I don't have the right underwear on for it. You can definitely see my underwear. But this is actually a two-piece. It kind of looks like a dress, but it is a two-piece. So the top is like this boned corset. I actually think this is a bit big for me. I might return it and get a smaller size because I'm kind of like, it's a bit floppy up here because I don't have a chest to fill it out. But it is a strapless pink satin corset. It does have a zip up the side, but it's kind of like a stretch satin, both the top and the skirt. So you can just throw them over your head. Like it's very easy. And it has the bone in here and around the back. And it has this pretty little flower corsage right here. I love it. And yeah, this is a skirt. So I think you could just buy this skirt. This would be so pretty in summer. Like this, if I could just a little baby tee, I think it would be really pretty. Again, it's that stretch satin. It does have a zip, but you don't really need it. Like you can just throw it on. I just love it. Like I love the color. I love the material. I think it's super pretty. Yeah, look at the see-throughness. Oh my God. That's crazy. I do have a light on right now, which is shining directly at me, but I think even without the light, it would still be see-through. And it is very much full length on me and there is a slit at the back on the bottom. Guys, I need to figure out if I can get some underwear that's gonna look okay under this before I decide to wear it for a flipping wedding. But it is very pretty. <laughs> it is very pretty. I do feel like a princess in this. It's really giving Disney princess. Again, we've got another maxi skirt corset combo. I love this. They don't go together. I did actually buy the matching skirt for this top and this did not fit. Ooh, this was tight. That's how that's supposed to look. It was too tight, did not fit. But I actually think this looks better than this anyway, so it really doesn't matter. So let's start with the top. This is, again, like, it, they're corsets, but they're not, like, super tight or anything like that. It has this bone in, in the middle right here. And then it has the ruffled shoulders, and then the ruffles coming down like this. It's like that on my back as well. Now, this looks beautiful. I really like it. I wore it out last weekend, and here are my issues. So the boning inside, like the plastic boning, keeps coming out. It's coming out. You can see it here as well here and here it's coming out so i have to keep pushing it back in this one is coming out on the bottom so that was doing that all last saturday which is annoying because that was the first time i've worn it and it's just popping out maybe i need to put like a stitch in them but it's doing it on every single one which i find peculiar and then not only that the zip is a bit funny now i've got issues with pretty little thing zips I've got issues with whoever is whacking the zips in the pretty little thing outfits because the zips are rubbish. So bad. So first of all, it's not super tight on me, this. Like there's, it's not a stretchy material, but there is still room in it. Like it's not like, ooh, super tight. And at the end of the night, tell me why this popped open. So it zips from the top to the bottom and it popped open. And I was there like, oh my God. And I couldn't fix it. Like I would have had to take the top off to fix it. I mean, it's fixed now, but you can't be embarrassing me like that, pretty little thing. Why are you doing that to me? Yeah, but I do love the way it's cut. Like, the way it's a bit higher here and goes into a very slight V. It makes your waist and hip area look so pretty. So, I'm going to keep it. I'm going to stick beside her, even though she keeps doing me dirty. Because I like it. Anyway, this skirt. I really like this. When I saw it, I was like, oh, you know, it's just whatever. And, like, I've tried it on a few times and I'm like, no, this is very cute. Again, it does have a zip, but you don't need it because it is has a slight bit of stretch in it. All the sizes that I've worn for everything I will put in the description box, by the way, along with all the links for everything. This is just like, I don't even know what color you'd call this. Like a mo, like a greige, greige, mauvey greige. And it is a maxi skirt. It's got like material underneath and then it just has this lace overlay, like very like old fashioned, your granny's kind of neck curtain vibe but it is so pretty. And then it has these little tie sides. The tie sides don't do anything. They're just for decoration. They don't tighten anything or anything like that. But they just add a little something to them. This is the back. Again, we're seeing knickers, aren't we? 
At this point, I've accepted actually to wear nude underwear with everything. So yeah, I am very fond of this outfit. I think it's very romantic and girly and sexy and pretty, <laughs> which are all the things that I love to be. Can you tell I've got a thing for maxi skirts at the moment? We have another maxi skirt here. So this is just a pink satin maxi skirt. It's not my favorite. Like it's fine, but it's not my favorite. I prefer the one I just had on or the satin pink one, the light pink one. This is fine, but I feel like it's that material that kind of shows more of like your underwear and your cellulite and all that, which is not an issue. Not an issue, right? Having them things, not an issue. But sometimes like I want something to make me feel a bit more secure, like a bit more fabric, a bit double layered. Do you know what I mean? This feels quite thin and like, you know, I don't know. You can see the vibes, like, you know what I mean? Like you can see my leg dimples like through the skirt and I'm like, eh, eh. Not that keen. And even like my underwear line, like you can see my underwear here, which I find annoying. I don't want that. So yeah, the skirt is fine, the colour's really pretty, but I'm just a bit like meh. Like it kind of needed um, to be double layered or just have like a thin lining inside. It does have a side slit right here and I'm not a fan of side slits. I don't like them, I don't like slits in skirts. I just don't like them, I don't know why. But yeah, because I'm into my maxi skirts now, like I think they're so pretty and just very girly and feminine, but like, in a sultry way, I'm just into it. This top, this top is the one. This top is beautiful. It's another corset, it kind of has like the bone in here in the middle again, and it is that shape where it kind of goes up and down, which I like. This is the back, it does have a zip, but this runs big. Size down in this one, I would say, just like you would in the pink strapless satin corset, because these will keep coming down. These will keep coming down, and if you have a smaller chest, definitely size down because I'm not filling this out. It's gapping and these are coming down. Now you can tie these tighter, but I think I've tied it as tight as it could possibly be and it's still kind of falling down and a bit too big. So yeah, but I do love it. I think it's so pretty. Like the little bows here are absolutely adorable. This is the perfect top for like jeans and a nice top. This is like something you keep in your wardrobe for when the girls are like, let's go out tonight and you have to think of an outfit quick. You know you can whack this on with some pants and you're good to go. So yeah, I do really love this top. Hmm, can you tell that I hate it? <laughs> I hate these two pieces. Like, not only do I like hate them together, but I just hate them in general. So let's start with the top. The top, oh God. Yeah, this just fits terribly. And because I have a relatively small chest for my size, like, and I don't have a bra on right now, like they're just, the boobies, no. The boobies, no. What can I even say about this? That is nice? Nothing. <laughs> they are like underwired. It's like obviously satin and lace, little corset, but it's just like not that greatly made. I love the idea of like the ruffled up boob area. Sorry, I'm not grammatics. But like the ruffled up boob area, like I like the idea of that with the lace, but the execution is poor. Like there's no support. Like it's not, if it was actually tight and like held the girls, yeah, but it's not. Like, it's just lying over them because it is too big, even though I've got my size. Again, size down in this, unless you have a really big chest. And then, like, the straps are just thin and a bit meh. And, yeah, and this, like, this is attached to the top that you have to put your arms in, but then, like, it doesn't fully come, like, all the way up. So it's like a bolero, but it's kind of uncomfortable because it feels like you can't, like, your arms are kind of restricted. And I don't particularly love the lace pattern. There's just a lot going on that I just like. Um, yeah, like this just looks terrible on me. I, like it makes my already like saggy boobs look extra saggy. It ain't doing nothing for the chesticles and I quite like my boobs, I'm not gonna lie. With no top on, but now this is making me hate them. <laughs> yeah, it's just making me look like I've got nothing there. Like if you're gonna be a corset, like at least support something. But no, it ain't doing that. So it's, this is a big fail for me. Big, big fail. And look, look, like this is falling down, like, oh. <coughs> I don't want to sneeze on the clothes. Anyway, this is the back. Like this, it looks, it looks like it should be cute in theory, doesn't it? But it is annoying me. Like, what's even going on here? No, no, I don't even want to think about it, no. No, 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 get it off me. And the skirt, I wanted to like it, but I don't. <laughs> so this is just like a dark red, lace skirt i didn't know it came with like built-in knickers so it comes with built-in knickers and they have like you know the plastic seal on them like you would a bikini but it's completely see-through so you have like the knicker part here 
and then it's all see-through so your bum cheeks are out and everything I wish if it was floor length at the front like it was floor length at the back I would have liked it this seam has no business being here the seam don't need to be there because it's not particularly pretty like it's a diagonal seam it looks weird it looks weird if you kept the same energy and just had like the lace going all the way to the floor or even just like if you wanted to keep this ruffle detail around the hem just keep that like I, I, no i'm getting bothered even if you wanted to do a straight across seam and keep the ruffles on the bottom that would be cute but like it's like a high low i thought we left high lows back in 2012 that in 2024 we have no business for high low anything why is the front shorter than the back no 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 who wants to oh i just love my ankles so much let me show them off no it don't look nice and I love the colour of it, like the colour and like the dark cherry red is giving me like gothic vibes with the lace and all of that. I love that, but this, no. It ain't for me, girls. No, it ain't. Okay, last but not least, we have this. Now, I love this. So this is just literally a plain black full length jumpsuit, but it is so, such a nice material. Like, it shouldn't feel like it's hard to find a good jumpsuit, tight jumpsuit what it is as a plus size girl because it's either the material's weird it's not stretchy enough it's not tight enough or it's see-through right this is stretchy enough it's so stretchy the material is nice if you've ever shopped at fashion nova do you know like that kind of suede material that they use like it's obviously not suede but to the touch it feels like it's really i think it's called like a brushed brushed jersey something like that it feels really soft really soft really stretchy it's tight enough sometimes when you get jumpsuits like they're they're not tight enough and it's like what but even though this like it is quite long and i have to fold it up on the bottom i'm not losing any of that up here like it's not gapping or like anything like that like it's really sticking to every part of my body which i love as far as i can tell it is not see-through my one issue with this is the zip right i haven't done the zip up right now the zip at the back is not done up i've worn this out a couple times and i love it and i want to wear it more the zip is a nightmare. Let me show you. It goes from here all the way up, right? Up to your neck, which is hard to do alone anyway. But I could get around to it, I could do it. The zip is fucking shit quality. Again, like I said, whoever is in charge of zips at PLT, me and you need a word. Because when I'm trying to do this up, like it's just jamming, like the, the zip is just shit quality. Like they obviously skimp out on the fixtures and fittings of their clothing which is annoying because this is a great piece of clothing a great basic it looks good it feels good i feel good in it it's not see-through but you fucked it up with the zip i'm really angry about it i'm really angry about it. i might even take this to the tailors to get them to put a proper zip in because i can't live like this i want to wear this but i cannot because i've got a strong look and it's not that it's not big enough like it is super stretchy like it does up but because of the zip, like, it, it keeps getting jammed and it's just, it's, it's, yeah. It's giving me a nightmare, in all honesty, girls. So, I'm even trying to do it right now, look. Like, look, I've even took it out of the bottom, right? Look at this. Can you see it? It's getting stuck right there. So again, it's like a two-man job thing, where you can't do it up. Like, I did get my flatmate to help me the other day to zip it up, but it's like... Nah, I want to be able to dress myself. I can't be having this every time I want to wear this, so it's just really annoying. I can't lie, because I love it. I might take it to the tailors and get them to put a different zip in, but that's going to be costly. But listen, I'll do what I have to do. Right, two jackets, then we're done. Oh, I did have some really cute, like, little boudoir lingerie, but not lingerie, pyjama kind of vibes. Let me show you. I'm not going to try them on. I'll put the video right here of me trying them on. But they are so cute. So firstly, we had this one. It's like little booty shorts, little rah-rah frilly shorts with the prettiest lace on the bottom. I do really like these. The top is beautiful. It doesn't do anything for the girls. It's not going to hold the girls in, but it is very pretty. So it's like this, and it's just like the little frill on the bottom. And you tie it up at the back, which I think is so pretty, because then it shows your back, and it's just <laughs> adorable. And this one is a bit more of a classic, like, satin pyjama. So it has the shorts, pink and black, like that. And the top is just a cami top, like this. Very, very cute though. I like both of them. Okay, first jacket. I did order two jackets with this order and the second one I'm gonna show you is my favorite. So, I've seen quite a lot of people wearing these kind of jackets at the moment and I do like them. So I ordered one. It's just not for me. Like, I like it. Nothing wrong with it. I like the color. The bottom is like um, an elastic, so it's like, 
nice and stretchy on the bottom so it kind of makes this like whoop, little vibe it's just like a bomber jacket but like a puffy bomber jacket they had this in quite a few colors but i like this car key the wrists are elasticated like that i think it's quite cute it is quite cute i just don't see myself wearing it all the time the only annoying thing is again whoever's in charge of zips at blt I need to talk to you and whoever's in charge of jackets at PLT I need to talk to you because it has no pockets how are you going to make a jacket with no pockets and it's not like it would ruin this look like a little pocket there wouldn't look bad my nose is getting itchy because I'm getting irate and it's the same for the next jacket I'm going to show you this is cute I like the colour but I don't know there's something off with it for me I feel like maybe if it was even more cropped I would like it better because then it would be like hitting me at the top of my hip I don't know i just don't see myself wearing it that much so i'm gonna send it back but this one <laughs> i've been wearing this non-stop this is a cute little biker jacket moment i just love this i don't know what it is about it it's not super heavyweight it's quite lightweight and it's quite oversized as well i got this in a 24 maybe and it is quite oversized it's just this yellow and black biker jacket looking like a bumblebee and it has like a few patches all over it and I like it because it doesn't have like pretty little thing with little plaster all over it like I don't want that it does it says like international racing like yeah so it's a bit ambiguous I do like it though I love the paneling like I love the bright yellow color again the zip is not great on this well what do I expect I don't zip this up though but you could zip it up is what I'm telling you do you know what I mean like why are we getting jammed halfway up this is the vibe this jingle jangles like this keeps jingle jangling all over the gaff but again that's not a pocket it's like what you're telling me you couldn't have made that like a pocket i just oh, i don't like to take a bag everywhere i go i just want pockets to put stuff in i'm annoyed anyway this is the back she's cute it has like a little bit of um padding on the inside it's not super warm and it's not super heavy but it doesn't feel super cheap either so yeah, right girls, we've made it to the end, that is it. What time is it? Oh, it's seven minutes after when I wanted to finish because I'm uploading this. I'm filming, editing and uploading this today because like I said, I'm trying to do a Wednesday, Sunday upload. <laughs> I don't want you to shout at me, so I'm just going to do it. Okay, that's the video. I hope you enjoyed it. All the links for everything and the sizes I wore will be in the description box and I'll see you on Wednesday with a new video. Okay, love you. Bye. Bye.